Welcome, parents, to Telling Time the Second Grade Way. Okay, as many of you know, um, when you're telling time, we have the hour hand, which is a shorthand. And not only is the hour hand the shorthand, hour is shorter in the words. So, like, we made this in class. So, hour is a short word, so it's a shorthand. Minute is a long word, so it's a long hand. Okay? We have many different tricks. One trick is... Um, the hour hand is a baby. He doesn't know much, so he can only count to 12. The hour hand doesn't say anything past 12. Whereas the minute hand is older, he's longer, taller, so he counts by ones, and he can all, go all the way to 59, or 0 to 59. Okay, so the difficulties that we're having with time, is telling time, is distinguishing, first of all, between the hour and the minute hand. We always write the hour first. We always tell them, look at the hour hand first and write that down. And then uh, find what the minute hand is. The difficulty that we're having is we tell them that between um, the 12, let's say, let's pick 12 and 1. Between 12 and 1, that's like his yard. It's going to stay 12 all the way until it hits the 1. So they think when you're telling time, this is going to be 1.55 where we tell them they can even draw the line out and show that it hasn't hit the one yet. So there's different strategies they can use. Um, we need to make sure they can count by five. So we teach them count by fives first. So the five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, sorry, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, zero. Okay, so they need to know their fives first. In class, we made this clock, and so they get to use this in class. This is not for tests, though. They uh, need to learn that by themselves. But underneath, we put what each one represents. So first, they try to find out what time it is, and then they can check themselves to make sure it is correct. So we've done that. Um, they also need to make sure that when they are telling time, that, let's say if it's, we tell them, you know, of course it's 2.30 or half past 2. They need to learn that. And then um, you can teach them the quarter till and the quarter after, but we really don't talk about that much in second grade. But you can expose them to that so that at least they're aware of that as they get older. And there you go. Have them tell time anywhere you go. Have them look at a digital clock. Try to get rid of all, I mean, get rid of the digital clocks and have them look at the analog clocks because they're so used to looking at digital, they don't know how to tell time with an analog. So good luck.